Are you looking for a comfortable performance t-shirt to bring on all your travels or just to wear every single day? If so, in this video, I review the Western Rise X Cotton Tee. The Western Rise X Cotton Tee is super soft, stretches in every direction, wicks moisture, and resists odors. It's my first purchase of a t-shirt that's specifically made for everyday usage in any situation, anywhere, whether it be outdoors, traveling, or everyday use. I've had this shirt for about 10 months now and even bought the shirt in a second color just to spice things up. I have the navy blue, which I'm wearing right now, and the gray as well. I've worn the X-Cotton tees every single week since I got them down here in the hot and humid South Florida weather and even tested them out on all of my recent travels to places like Maui, Kauai, and Colombia. They're literally the shirts that I wear every single day when traveling, whether it be exploring town, going to the beach, hiking, or even going to dinner. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with Western Rise in any way and they did not send me these shirts for free. Bought them with my own money because I did a lot of research, read some reviews, and was impressed with what I saw. So after 10 months of weekly use, how well are these shirts holding? Well, let's get into it. As for the materials and features, the Western Rice X Cotton Tee is cut slightly lean and tailored, has four-way stretch, is moisture wicking, and odor resistant. It has a heavyweight blend of 60% cotton, 35% polyester, and 5% elastane. At 220 GSM, which refers to the weight of the fabric, the shirt is quick drying, has polygene odor control technology, and is UPF 50 for protection from the sun. Other than the gray color, or concrete as they call it, and the navy color that I have, they also have forest green, white, and black. For the price, the X Cotton T is currently going for $48, which is probably the most expensive t-shirt that I've ever bought. Do I think it's worth it? Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out. As for the fit and looks, I'm wearing a size medium and I'm 5 foot 10. They say it's cut slightly lean and tailored, but it's not so slim such that it shows off my love handles. The entire shirt drapes down effortlessly, looks good on my shoulders, and gives a clean, minimal look. I think the sleeves are just the right length for me, and the shirt is the perfect perfect length as well. Not too long and not too short. As for the pros of the shirt, number one is its fit and look. I just love how it fits and looks on me. As I mentioned, it's neither too tight nor too loose. I really love the concrete color. To me, it's a strong shade of gray that still remains minimal. Pro number two is it's comfortable yet durable. The first thing I noticed about the shirt was that it had a bit more heft or a bit more weight to it than a normal t-shirt, but still it was very soft and stretchy. You can tell that this is really a shirt that's built to last. Pro number three is the odor handling so i was really excited to test how well the shirt fights odors and i have to say i was really impressed in my travels to hawaii and colombia two very hot and humid places where i was constantly sweating through the shirt and sometimes wearing the shirt on top of my body that was caked in sunscreen i was able to get four to five days of everyday usage from the shirt and the shirt did not smell actually i think the better way to word it is it didn't give off any bad odors and what i mean by that is there's definitely a smell difference between a shirt that's fresh out of the laundry and a shirt that's been worn for a few days, especially in rough conditions. I mean, of course there's going to be a difference, right? After wearing this shirt for a few days, if you smell it, it doesn't smell fresh, of course, but the more important fact is the shirt did not reek of any bad odors. It didn't smell like sweat or anything, and that's good enough for me. Pro tip, if you want to maximize wearability between washes, make sure at the end of each day you hang the shirt on something to air it out. Putting it on a hanger is best, but if not, you can drape it over something like a chair. When I'm using it on and off as an everyday shirt to go to work, run errands, or maybe hit up some breweries, one week can easily go by and the shirt can still smell fine. As for the cons of the shirt, I really don't have any cons. I mean, this shirt is just great. If I were to be really, really picky, I do notice some pilling, especially on my gray shirt. Not sure if it's because of the conditions that I wear the shirt on or if it's because I'm wearing a backpack a lot on my travels with the shirt. Um, so I'm not really sure if that's a fault of Western Rise, but it could be my fault. I put it in the dryer few times accidentally. Um, if you have any like tips on how to get rid of shirt pilling, let me know in the comments below. But to me, it's not really a big deal and it's probably not even Western Rise's fault. So just had to point that out. Do I recommend the Western Rise X Cotton T? Absolutely. I'm not even kidding when I say I've alternated wearing my two shirts every single week for 10 months and on all of my travels as well. I've also accidentally put them in the dryer a few times and I didn't notice any shrinkage. Overall, these shirts are holding up great and I'm gonna continue using them on a weekly basis and on all my travels as well. The S Cotton T is definitely the best shirt that I currently own. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Western Rise X Cotton T. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.